Right, so we're here at Arm Tech Con, and uh, what are you doing here? All right, so uh, so I'm John Masters with Red Hat. Uh, I'm the chief farm architect at Red Hat, um, and what I'm doing at TechCon uh, is su supporting the Lenaro Enterprise Group announcement. So um, we just announced today that the Lenaro Enterprise Group has been formed, and what LEG will do. Uh, it's a it's a bad pun, right? LEG. We've got arms, we've got legs, we've got different pieces. Um, so what LEG is going to do is it's going to um, try to solve the ARM server standardization problem. Try to ensure that we have a standard offering uh, for various different ARM servers, where we can have a single Linux distribution like Fedora that can just run across all these systems. So I was here with George Gray to support the announcement of that. Um, and then I've given two presentations, one with Applied Micro, where I've talked about the collaboration that we are doing in the Fedora space with Applied on the very first uh, ARM version 8 XGene platform. Um, we have an uh, XGene FPGA in our lab. Very few people have one, but we have one. Uh, and we are able to use that right now to do some limited validation work of the, uh, the work in progress towards Fedora for ARM version 8. I say limited because we only have one. They're like gold dust, right? Nobody has an ARMv8 hardware. We do have one. Uh, we're very grateful for that. Um, and the other thing I was doing as part of that, but also uh, in my separate presentation, was to let people know that we have begun work on getting Fedora up and running on ARMv8. Um, and we will have an initial uh, set of bits posted soon. That's our bootstrap. It's the first few stages of our bootstrap. Uh, will be posted soon, sufficient to run RPM and start to build software inside the ARM Foundation models. Um, and then next year, as we start to get ARM V8 hardware, we will uh, work towards getting the rest of the um, Fedora stack built for ARM V8, uh, so that hopefully, you know, certainly by this time next year, I can do a demonstration where we are running on, uh, we're running Fedora uh, 19 or Fedora 20 at that stage on, uh, an ARM V8 um, system. So, were you in Copenhagen? I, w I was in Copenhagen, so it's been an interesting week because uh, I started the week, uh, end of last week I was in Boston, then I was in the UK, then I was in Copenhagen at um, the Lenaro Connect event, which is co-located with a, another Linux conference. In Bella Center. At, in Bella Center in, in Copenhagen, right? So How do you like Copenhagen? Copenhagen is awesome. How many hours were you there? Uh, I was there for two days. Two days? Uh, no, three days, uh, three and a bit, and then I, and then I, uh, yeah, the week, like uh, most of the weekend and and Monday and Tuesday, and then I flew Wednesday morning, so yesterday, uh, to to here, uh, and then I'm going to be back in Boston uh, on Sunday. Uh, but but no, Copenhagen was was awesome. I, I took up running earlier this year, and I, I actually went for a, a run from Bella Center down to the harbor, and uh, ran around the town and. Uh, yeah, so Copenhagen was wonderful, but good. Lenara Connect was was uh, very. It's still going on. It's still going on. It, 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 it's been very good. It, the the two days that I spent there, uh, certainly some other Red Hat guys are still at Lenara Connect, um, and collaborating on both LEG and also other um, Fedora ARM work. So Lenara wor is good. working. I think Len I think Lenaro is working very well. I think Lenaro, um, you know, there were 320 people at Lenaro Connect this time. Okay, it's already become a, a huge organization and a huge event in and of itself. It's really driving all the upstream work. Uh, and I think LEG is going to be an opportunity for those of us who've not been involved historically um, to get much more engaged and, and work towards solving common problems. So, LEG, are people talking about it like right now at Linaro Connect? Yeah, absolutely. It got announced this morning and, and uh, I guess this evening in Denmark, right? They announced it. And also um, at the same time? Yeah, at the same time. They had a, they in fact had a Google Hangout. Really? Uh, and they live streamed this event there. Um, and then uh, George Gray, who's the CEO of Lenaro, announced uh, here. And uh, David Rustling, who's the CTO of Lenaro, announced in Denmark at the same time. Uh, and in fact, some of the guys from AMD and some of the guys from um, Applied Micro and all the other new members, in fact, are still in Copenhagen, and, and they will be working with the guys that are there today to help them understand, you know, what are we announcing, what exactly are we doing, and how are we collaborating together. So there's some really cool names on the LAG board. Yep. Red Hat, one of them. Yep. And uh, it's Facebook. Facebook, yes. Facebook, and uh, it's kind of cool. It is cool. It is cool. I think, you know, Facebook, you know, they, they're... 
they, they, they have, um, they have a need for hyperscale computing. They have a lot of the kinds of problems here that we're trying to solve. And, you know, ARM is, is a piece of hyperscale, okay? Hyperscale's more than just ARM, it's more than just x86, it's various different architectures, and it's about uh, solving these kinds of mass scale problems in new ways. Um, and I think, you know, you talk to companies like Facebook and at these events, and, and, you know, you get the, the sense from them that they're very forward thinking, and they're looking at these new technologies, and they're just thinking, how can we uh, how can we look at this and see where it might be useful for us? So, all these new companies are especially interested in servers somehow. I, I, well, the but enterprise how does it link to the rest of Linaro. Yeah, so LEG is, is uh, yeah LEG is 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 um, is about um, enterprise, and enterprise can mean more than just servers. It can mean you know integrated converged networking, all of these different things. Um, yeah, a lot of us have an interest in servers. I think a lot of people in LEG have interest in other areas. And I think the whole point of this is, Lenaro is more than just about, you know, embedded Linux, okay? Lenaro is more than just about um, uh, cell phones. It's really about making the Linux ARM ecosystem, um, well, frankly, it's about solving the kind of problem where, you know, these other companies that do uh, different architectures they have very large teams that work on upstream, work on solving problems. And in the ARM space, you have so many different players, they all have to work together. And the way to do that is through an organization like Lenaro. There are others, Linux Foundation do some work too, but you know, Lenaro is the place where a lot of the engineering happens for upstream enablement and connecting all these different companies together. So what did the, the, the CEO of Lenaro mean when, when he said that uh, Linus Torvalds think that uh, Lenaro is a good citizen right now? Well, I think what he's getting at there is that um, the, uh, um, a year or so back, you know, Linus Torvald sent some email that, that you know, was criticizing the ARM ecosystem as being fra very fragmented. It's uh, less bright in here, so I'll take my shades off. Um, but, uh, you know, the ARM ecosystem was, was very fragmented uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, if you're in the embedded space and you build very vertically integrated products like the camera that you're using here, um, you don't have to care as much about you know, I want the same software to run on a different camera, okay? The problem is that uh, you get to a point where you have hundreds of different versions um, and it becomes a support nightmare for people like Linus. And so they've really pushed back and said, no, we need to solve some of this mess. We need to standardize, um, even in the embedded space, which is traditionally very vertically integrated. Um, and then that really helps to benefit us, those of us who work in the enterprise space, predominantly, who want very, very standard platforms. So, can you say anything about the X-Gene? It's, it's kind of like a top secret. Uh, what I can say about X-Gene is, you know, I was at the Applied Micro um, session just now. I was at their uh, announcement last year. I presented it at the initial announcement of X-Gene, which was the very first V8 um, hardware to be announced. Uh, even at the same time the architecture was announced, so it was, uh, it was fun. Uh, we've been working with Applied Micro for the last couple of years, um, and you know, we've got a good good partnership there, uh, and we're working with them in, in terms of ecosystem enablement, in terms of V8 enablement. So I know that they will announce various things around hardware later on, um, and my goal is just to make sure that when they have hardware available for the community, Fedora is just going to run. It's just going to be there, it's going to work. Uh, why wouldn't it work? It's going to be there, um, and we're going to work with them to collaborate to make sure that happens. Is that hard? Or you just know no, what to I, do? I think actually we've been we, we we've learned a lot because in the ARM version seven time frame we did a complete reboot strap of the distribution. We we knew ARM version eight was coming. Um, we we you know I've been working with ARM for a long time on ARM V eight even prior to the public unveiling. Um, and so in ARM version seven we were able uh, to to uh, to do some trial run stuff to do some bootstrap work to understand what we had to do. And then working with Applied has been uh, pretty easy going. We've, we've got some good connections there with the engineering team. Um, they really look to me to give them some feedback on, um, you know, what's the best practice here? How do we, how do we collaborate? Uh, and it's been good. It's been good so far, and I hope it continues. I, I see no reason why it won't. So it's fun, no? It's very fun. It's, it's very, very fun. fun. I've been called a, uh, uh, sort of an ARM fan, and I, I certainly am. I, I, Are you more and more of an ARM fan at every tech con? I, I think so. I think, I think you know, I, I find ARM technology very interesting because not only do I find the architecture interesting, and certainly I, you know, um, have been known to, 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 to cite the instruction encodings for things, um, but 
I find the, the whole thriving ecosystem where you don't just have like one or two companies, you have a lot of different companies that come together and everybody thinks they're first and then they're, nobody's first, there's always like somebody else doing something and, and, and there's so many cool little features people are working on um, where it's, there's never really a dull moment because you know if, if, if somebody's not doing something, somebody else is doing it. So there's a lot of fun there and I think as part of the broader hyperscale computing thing, some of the stuff that guys are doing beyond just the basic architecture with you know fabrics, with SOC integration where they put in like offload engines and all kinds of stuff, I think we're just getting started with where this technology is going.